was, uh, I love this. Uh, this guy, he's Australian, right? We all know the wonderful Greta Thunberg, don't we? We've been listening to her horrid, screechy voice for, for many years. I think she got on the scene when she was 13 or something like that. 13-year-old environmentalist Greta Thunberg. I, said, I, I heard her say her name once, and she goes like, Hi, hello, I'm Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. <laughs> it's Greta Thunberg. Uh, she says it different. Uh, so I guess you got to go by her. So here's Greta Thunberg. And we, we remember what she said when, she, uh, how dare you, she chastised everybody for lying to the, the young people when she said, I should be in school on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> so she goes through. This is a little uh, recap of that. And then it goes to this old fucking Australian guy that is awesome. Oh, does he fucking lay it out there. And this is just another reason I adore the continent from down under uh, Australia. I got to get there. It's all wrong. Wrong. I shouldn't be up here. You're right. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Uh, uh. Yet... You all come to us young people for hope. What? How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. Why? People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. What? We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? <laughs> can you Go pause school, for a minute? Kids. I just got it. So, like that clip's five years old. <laughs> when it, where is this ecosystem collapse and fucking shit you saying, how dare you? And we don't look to young people to do anything. You look to us to start, no, we don't. We don't give a fuck. Just fucking, you know. Go out and play on the monkey bars or something, you dumb little weirdo. <laughs> you little fucking weirdo. <laughs> so, you know, we all remember that one. What an actress. <sighs> How dare you? Her voice was all rattling. She's almost crying. Her eye was shut. She looked like Popeye. I don't know what was going on. How dare you? Our ecological systems is crumbling. <laughs> Give the trees some spinach. I'll do so to do. With their fucking eyes shut. How dare you? How dares you, Brutus? Oh. <laughs> so she's she went off on that diatribe, and uh, this guy just lays it out, though. This fucking old Aussie. To all the school kids going on strike for climate change. You're the first generation who've required air conditioning in every classroom. You want TV in every room, and your classes are all computerized. You spend all day and night on ele electronic devices. More than ever, you don't walk or ride bikes to school, but you arrive in caravans of private cars that choke suburban roads and worsen rush hour traffic. You're the biggest consumers of manufactured goods ever, and update perfectly good, expensive luxury items to stay trendy. Your entertainment comes from electric devices. Furthermore, the people driving your protests are the same people who insist on artificially inflating the population growth through immigration, which increases the need for energy, manufacturing and transport. The more people we have, the more forest and bushland we clear. The more of the environment that's destroyed. How about this? Tell your teachers to switch off the aircon, walk or ride to school, switch off your devices and read a book, make a sandwich, instead of buying manufactured fast food. No, none of this will happen because, the piece says, your selfish, badly educated, virtue-signalling little turds inspired by the adults around you who crave a feeling of having a noble cause while they indulge themselves in Western luxury and unprecedented quality of life. Wake up, grow up and shut up. <laughs> God damn this guy. Oh. Oh, Australia, I fucking love you. I love you. That is funny. What a perfect 
spot on response to that. Like the all, yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't air conditioning in every classroom and it's mandatory. Like you have to have it. If the air conditioning isn't on in a classroom, the kids get to go home. <laughs> they get to fucking leave. Yeah. It's fucking, uh, uh, Riding your bike, walking to school. When's the last time you've been anywhere on the road and seen a group of kids with books under their arms walking to school or riding their bikes to school? You just don't see it. Everyone, you know, see a kid with a, a book in his hand. No, it's a fucking phone or an iPad or something. The guy was so spot on with that. You're selfish <laughs> little turds. <laughs> oh, is he a grumpy old guy? I love him fucking love him poor Greta Thunberg Greta Thunberg she's like uh, 18 now I think uh, in January she turned 18 so uh, like people aren't really paying as much attention to her now because she's not like the young kid doing this so they're trying to find another I know they found some other kid that was this environmental kid but uh, Greta isn't getting as much press as she used to and she's probably uh, a little pissed off about that. Uh, they're still doing the school strike thing. I guess, it, like, I should have used that tactic when I was dropping out of school. I should have just said, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm an environmentalist, and um, it's a strike. I'm having a strike from going to school. And I'm telling other kids to not go to school. Like a hunger strike, only a school strike. And then you don't go to school, and you just go, oh, it's fucking awesome. I could just roam around. I take fucking sailboats with people my parents don't even know across the ocean where I should be in school. I should be in schools. Oh. <laughs> so uh, that's off to that guy. God, I got to get down there. One of these fucking days, take that 20-hour fucking flight, whatever it is. 